Welcome back guys. We got something new for today. Been kind of been gone for the last couple days. Kind of reviewing some stuff to uh, talk to you guys about as far as what I like about the truck and what I don't like about the truck. And simply what stuff needs to be finished or fixed. We do have the lights hooked up now. I hooked up the lights. So all of our LED lights are now functioning. Our high beam are now working. Turns out our our foot switch or our high beam switch down here was not functioning properly. Some people were mentioning that it might have been because I mounted it on top of the on top of Sorry. top of the carpet but I did just add a, a ground to the top and it started working now if that was the reason why I'm not sure but that's what I did and it started working it could have just been that maybe they just weren't tight enough not sure our blinkers are now working because we added the adapter to the back of this thing and that that functioned so some cars they say that you don't need them well mine did so it's a reverse polarity base that basically plugs into your truck and then the LED blinker goes into that and this one is also grounded Ooh, that's where our leads are coming in from smart guy yeah, leaves are coming in. I had no idea from where. That's exactly where. Okay. Another issue is before the car show, um, we were hooking up these gauges because our factory gauges don't work. Our speedometer seems to work. I don't know how accurate it is, but it does. I was on the uh, freeway, and it said I was doing about 60, which seems... Uh, like it's pretty accurate. Uh, I was next to other cars, so I know I was at least doing whatever they were doing. So 55, 60. Our oil does work. Our temperature does work. Our fuel does not work. So our fuel does not work, and I tried to drive the truck to a local meet and greet spot here in town at a classic burger spot named Chewy's and um, I took the truck there got lots of compliments people liked the truck liked the look of the truck um, some people actually uh, were following me on Instagram building the truck so they got to see it for the first time and uh, they liked it but one thing that I did not like is as soon as I showed up the truck died on me. Now, at first, I had no idea why, because I had just barely, barely pulled up, was going to park, and then the truck died. So, after looking for a while, looking over everything, I realized that the truck died because I ran out of fuel. Now, our fuel gauge is not hooked up. But the day of the show, I filled up the tank all the way. And I assumed that it still had fuel, but apparently it did not. So this is what we're working on today is fuel sending unit. This one's brand new. It came with the tank, but I do not think it's functioning. Now, it could be something as simple as the wire inside is not hooked up to the to the, um, I guess it would be what, the ohm reader, I guess you could call it, I'm not sure, where the floater is hooked up, it goes up and down and sends a signal to the gauge, that could, could have ripped off or broke off, um, I want to say that this post was loose, and when I was tightening this, it spun a few times and then tightened itself, so that actually could have ripped the wire that's inside possibly 
or maybe we just have a, a bad brand new one so instead of lifting up the, the bed or dropping the tank i just decided to do what's easiest for me and just uh create a um little sneaky peek hole or an access hole to this by simply by simply just purchasing one of these hole saws this is a three inch and the base of these units i think was two and a half so perfect size hole to get in there and uh take this off with the screwdriver like i mentioned that unit is brand new so hopefully taking it out um we can see something's wrong with it and fix it throw it back in there and it should work all the wires are already ran so hopefully it does work but i bought a ohm meter because the one that i had before was just really really beat so i was testing it with the other the other one from the bottom under the bed i could get to these poles and it was not reading anything so i was not 100 percent sure that that one even worked so i bought a new one and i can't do this one-handed but hopefully you guys could take my word for it this one's brand new i think it shut off on me There we go. So this one's brand new. Let me see if I can get to these poles. So negative, positive, negative. Okay, so there. That should be reading full or 90 ohms because this setting unit is a zero to 90 ohm, which is the same thing as the gauge so i did fill up the tank so i know that there is a full tank in here and we're not reading anything as you guys can see i did purchase a different one different style this is more like the sorry i blocked you guys off this is more like the, the floater style that they use like on a boat boat style i guess you could say let me see if I can get this out of here without messing it up. So this one actually reads off of this this thing here going up and down off of here. So inside of here, it's it's got all the little resistance um, mechanism, whatever. It's inside of there. And as, as this thing goes up and down, I had this. Well, let me see if I could test this one with you guys here. I think brown was signal, blue was ground. Uh, let's put that there. Right there. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm on the wrong spot. Right there put that there and put that there okay this is a little harder than I thought but you get the gist of it though we are getting a reading and with this one we're not getting anything this one should fit uh, the five five hole universal so it should fit but I want to make sure and actually test and find out why this one does not work. So let me take this off. I'll get you guys set up and uh, we'll take this out and we'll test it out here. That is one thing that I did not do that I should have done was test it before I put it in. You know, just because it's new doesn't mean that it works, unfortunately. So let me get this thing out and we'll test it out. So we took that guy out and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, 
once you move the floater up and down it kind of kicks in and kicks off but it's definitely not a solid sweep for the gauge to read anything so yeah brand new and it was defective and uh, we threw in our other style here and threw our tester on this thing let's see what we get let's see I'm not getting nothing now why uh, let's try this Hmm. Oh, that might be why I'm on the wrong wire. This guy here. This guy right there. And there you go. Nothing. Touch. 91. So, 91... You know all these all these um, all these uh, fuel standing units. They're they're gonna be off a little bit. I don't think I've ever seen one that's perfectly 90. It'll be off. You know this is actually pretty close at a full full tank. Like I mentioned, it's completely full and it's reading 91. So we are going to connect it with the. The gauge that came with the kit, you know, uh, I think it's going to be our best bet. This is uh, the EQ's unit. And this one is just a basic no brand that came with that guy. I did connect the wires out here and it read full tank. So I think we're good to continue. I'm going to tie this in real quick. Bolt that in. And uh, we'll go put this inside. Cycle that key. And hopefully read a full tank. And we'll cross this guy off our list. That's the part number to the gauge. And I think this thing came... Here's the Vatix 0 to 90 RV truck vehicle. That's the fuel sending unit part of it. So let me throw this in and I'll catch you guys here back in a little bit. Well, got that in, screwed in, wired up at the ground. As they say, I went the old and with the new. In our case, I with the new and in with a different new. So got this guy out. Got that guy out. We got our new uh, boat style flow unit in. And was in here looking for a Ooh, I was running out of spots in here these older older systems they didn't give you a whole lot of slots for um, power on key on ignitions and but we got one we kind of joined it two together not the best way to do things but we gotta get in here and tidy this up real basic wiring red power black is your signal coming from your unit and then orange is your backlight we got that hooked up to our to our light switch here and then blue is your ground you got your little diagram here so let's see let's see 
see what we got going on. There's some things that we kind of overlook that's actually really important. And that's one of them. You know, most of the time we want our, our vehicles to, to look nice and, you know, stuff like that. But we got nice steering wheels. We got nice stereo cup holders and stuff. That's a cool little magnetic one that I threw on for my son. But we we're trying to be Mr. Cool Guy on Thursday night. And we ran out of gas in front of everybody. So that's all fine and dandy because we needed that to show us what's wrong. And key on full tank of gas. And this is probably going to kick on now. Oh, no, we're at full. Check this out. This is my favorite part. Boom. It goes right to where you got your... Right now, we got it on high. The system is self-leveling, so it'll it'll continue to, to air up the bags until it's exactly how you had it set up that part i think is the best part um people got kick out of that watching it kind of go up and down as i said it was getting uh, adjusted while we were leaving and another thing that i fixed behind camera was i was only able to get one compressor to kick on and kept blowing the fuse and uh i got a hold of the manufacturer X580 actually runs 40 amps, so that was what that's why it was blowing our our 30 amps. I put the 40 in there, and it's been working ever since. So beautifully, once it gets to once it gets to uh, your preset tank setting. It'll shut off. Just like that. Key out. Gas down. So, that's it for that, guys. Kind of basic stuff. But, we're all going to go through it eventually. Just because you got brand new parts. Don't sit there and try to overthink stuff. Because a lot of times, just because it's brand new, doesn't mean that it works. So, I'll leave you with that. We got that problem fixed, and we're going to move on to the next one. So, until next time, guys, catch you on the flip side.